expand your horizontal videos to vertical. Using AI and CapCut and it's free, but not unlimited. So this is the horizontal video we're working on. If you use it for a vertical video, you would have to go to aspect ratio and choose 9 by 16. And you would have something like this. The video is in the middle and you have these black spaces on top and at the bottom. What others do is stretch the clip to fit the screen, but the problem is the video will already be pixelated since you've stretched it too much, especially if you're not working on a 4K or 8K video. Apart from that, you will also lose your original shot composition. So here's what we do instead. Go back to aspect ratio and set it to 16 by 9. Then tap on cover, hit next, then hit download. Now open your browser and go to firefly.adobe.com. Scroll down and select Generative Fill. Upload image and select the cover photo we downloaded from CapCut. Once you're on the screen, tap on Expand. Select Freeform. Set the height to 1920 since that's the dimension of a vertical video. Hit Apply and you should have something like this. You can put a prompt on what you want to generate, but you can also just leave it blank and tap on Generate. Adobe Firefly is credit-based and you have free 25 credits per month, which means you have 25 generation attempts per month. Now you'll have three choices. Just choose the one you like best, tap Keep, tap this Export button, and tap Download. Now we have an expanded version of the photo. Once done, let's go back to CapCut. Let's add the photo we just downloaded from Firefly. Tap on the plus sign and select the photo. Now let's go to aspect ratio and set it to 9 by 16. So let's go to the video and look for overlay. Then hold and drag to align with the expanded photo. What we're doing here is putting the original video on top of the expanded photo so we can make it look like the video is expanded. Now let's tap on the expanded photo and extend to match the duration of the video. And as you see, we now have an expanded video. But if you look closely, there is an obvious cut on the edge of the video. Let's fix that by tapping on the video clip, go to mask, and select mirror. Just like that, we now have smoothened the edges. Now we're left with one more problem. We have these little black spaces. So now we can just scale in since this is a very minimal stretch and shouldn't pixelate our video. Do that on both the video and the expanded photo. Just make sure to align the details of the image. Export, and here's your final output. I want to thank you for giving me the best day. Quick reminder, the entire thing that we just did will work best on videos shot on a tripod or any as long as it has no camera movement. And for videos where the moving subject does not touch the top or bottom edges. Share the video and follow for more.